Not your normal lunch at a Beloit Noodles & Co. yesterday. Check it out. Yeah, that's a deer running right through the middle of the restaurant during the lunch rush. And the out-of-place animal eventually would make its way into the kitchen and out the back door, but not without getting some heart rates up. Armand Rahman traveled to that very restaurant this afternoon to hear firsthand from the people who witnessed it. Here in Wisconsin, we're used to watching out for deer on the roads and highways, but not while we're eating lunch. No, I've been in this industry for a very long time. Nothing like that has ever happened. We take you to the scene of a break-in at this Noodles & Company in Beloit. The perpetrator has been identified as John Doe. It was a pretty large deer. It was a male deer with like five spikes on each of his antlers. When it happened Tuesday, 65 middle school kids were enjoying some pasta after trick-or-treating, but they were quickly thrown off their daily routine. I heard crash, a really loud crash. General Manager Patty Pickering was in back. My first instinct was that so the kids must have dropped something, tipped something over. Except for one customer who just shielded himself with his hood, everyone ran for dear life. I've never seen a room full of middle schoolers clear out so quickly. <laughs> the buck didn't stop there. He ran around the corner, then right out the back door. A minute and a half restaurant review. He missed an entire pan of meatballs I had just pulled out of the oven. He could have had a snack. No one was hurt, which is why Pickering says it's funny looking back, but it was intense in the moment. The experience was um, scary. With When the kids started screaming, I know it was my job to get everybody out and take care of everybody so they got out safe. Scary and perplexing because this is a busy street next to a highway. But Pickering believes this deer was fawning over their noodles. The food is so good, even the deer want to eat her. Now, reportedly, officers later saw the deer uninjured, just exhausted, and probably still hungry because, you know, there's not much you can get to eat for a buck these days. In Beloit, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Now, I thought Armand was bad with the puns, but mm -hmm. you came up with a few well, good ones Well, I today. think this might possibly be the best story possibly of the night. Possibly be. He's just so few Yeah, silly. and he used the buck stops here, which was he one did. of yours. He uh did. -huh. You had a couple I, others, though, right? I, yeah, this is a, uh, a very few silly idea, you know, based off of Seinfeld. Yes. Mm -hmm. I got them all. I'm surprised he didn't at least go for the Rice Krispies in there. but <gasps> Those are really stopped. good. You and I both know that. You just stopped? Yes. All right.